What's up, folks? How's it going? This watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're going to be talking about the Jabra 85T Elites. Now, if you don't know already, I'm a huge fan of the previous generation 75T Elites. I think they were the best true wireless earbuds of certainly last year. We did a direct head to head comparison between the AirPod Pros, and they definitely had a lot of things going for it. So let's see how the newer generation 85T fares up against not only the previous 75T, but as well as the AirPod Pros, because one of the things that the AirPod Pros do really well is microphone pickup and call quality. And certainly the biggest thing that Jabra addressed with the 85Ts was the improved microphones. We have a six array microphone system that will not only aid its active noise cancellation system, but also improve the microphone quality and pickup of your voice as well as isolate your voice from the background a little bit better as well. Now, first thing, let's talk about the major differences of the 85T Elites compared to the previous generation 75T series, whether that's the standard Elite version or the Active version. And in terms of the difference between the 75T Active and the standard Elite model is basically the IP certification. The regular 75T Elite is IP55 rated for dust as well as jets of water versus the 75T Elite Active actually has a special invisible coating that allows it to be fully submerged merged down to about one meters deep in clear water for up to 30 minutes. So it's certainly the most durable true wireless earbud in the range thus far. And interestingly enough, the 85Ts actually have the same durability rating as the AirPod Pros of IPX4 certification. So that's basically light splashes of water or uh, sweat resistance to some extent. So both AirPod Pros and 85Ts are equally vulnerable uh, to the outer elements out there and definitely don't want to get them fully submerged underwater for a prolonged period of time. Now, as we mentioned before, the big upgrade on the 85Ts has to be the six array of microphones, both in the inner and outer ear portion of the earbuds. Now, the previous generation 75T had a dual microphone setup, and we also have improved processing power built inside the 85T, which should deliver a better ANC experience and also deliver better call quality, voice isolation, as well as an improved hear-through mode. Beyond that, the 85T also has double the driver size of 12 mm millimeters compared to both the AirPod Pros and the 75Ts which had a six millimeter driver. That's going to do a couple of things. One, it should possibly deliver better audio quality, although I didn't find that to be the case. But more importantly, we should improve overall power efficiency because the larger speaker can uh, generate the same amount of volumes at a lower voltage, which will definitely uh, save power and deliver better battery life. Lastly is regarding the charging case, which now has Qi wireless charging capabilities, the same as the Apple AirPod Pros, but a feature that was definitely missing on the previous generation. Now, before I go on any further, I do want to take the time to actually listen to the microphones coming out of both the Jabra Elite 85Ts and the AirPod Pros. We're going to take a look at two different scenarios, one where there is no background noise, so you can really tell the quality of both microphones, and one there is some background noise, so you can see how the voice is being isolated from the noise and how how minimal the noise is as well. So let's take a look and see how they sound. This is an audio recording sample of the Apple AirPod Pros microphones without any background noise. This is the Apple AirPod Pro microphone. This is a recording sample of the Jabra's 85T Elites. This is a recording sample of the microphone coming out of the 85T Elites without any background noise. This is a sample of the AirPod Pros with some background noise. This is a sample of the microphones of the AirPod Pros with some background noise. This is the Jabra 85T Elite with some background noise. This is the 85Ts with some background noise. This is the Apple AirPod Pros with some background noise. This is the Apple AirPod Pros with some background noise. This is the Jabra Elite 85Ts with some ambient background noise. This is the Jabra Elite 85Ts with some background noise. Now those recordings were made through Open Broadcaster running on my late 2020 MacBook Pro and based on the results I think that both microphones sound fantastic but there is a slight volume increase on the 85Ts. You can also see that the bass response and lower end frequencies are a little bit more fuller but the AirPod Pros definitely have a better defined mid-range and higher frequency characteristic which will definitely cut through a noisy background a little bit better particularly background noises that have a lot of lower end humming frequencies 
that tends to get a little bit muddied up and possibly distorted uh, given the right circumstance on the 85T versus I didn't really find that happening on the AirPod Pros. Generally from a call quality perspective or if you're going to use this for a lot of conference calls and you're on the iOS platform, you probably still want to go with the AirPod Pros in my opinion. I think the microphone is still a little bit clearer in terms of voice pickup. Now in terms of the active noise cancellation system built inside on both platforms, in terms of which one's best, I can't really demonstrate that for you guys through the video. You're going to have to kind of experience it yourself. I did find that at times that the ANC system on the 85Ts was a little bit quieter uh, in a certain situations, uh, but uh, given other circumstances, and especially with a lot of radio frequency interference, say when I was walking through the mall and things like that, and there's a lot of RFID and scanners everywhere, it can get a little tripped up. And at times I did find some radio frequency interference coming uh, through the ANC system, which didn't really happen on the AirPod Pros. In terms of which one's quieter, based on my experience, in any given situation, I think the 85Ts are slightly better in terms of flipping the frequencies of the external background noise and give you a little bit more isolation from the ambient environment, but not by a whole lot. It's hard to quantify, but even in the case of the 75Ts active noise cancellation system, the 85Ts are not honestly that much better. What's uh, probably more interesting is the fact that you do get to control the level of transparency or hear through mode on the Jabra side versus that's not available on the Apple side where you can choose the right specific setting to get you a little bit of ambient background noise coming through the ANC system so you're aware of your environment a little bit better but not being fully cut off uh, with the ANC completely on like you have on the Apple side so that's definitely a nice flexible feature on the Jabra side. Furthermore one slight complaint I have with the 85Ts is actually the proportions and the fit. It's slightly larger a little bit more bulkier than the 75Ts which had a really nice snug uh, fit and finish and they were really a sleek design. The design hasn't really changed too much on the 85Ts but given the fact that you have a much larger driver, six microphones, a new silicon chip, the unit has become more bulkier, larger and a little bit more cumbersome to use and the security of the fit can be compromised at times. It's certainly not as secure as what I found to be the 75Ts and indeed even the Apple AirPod Pros which once they're in they're definitely in but there have been circumstances where the Elite 85Ts have come out of my ears uh, during a long run or any kind of uh, dynamic workout session. So you definitely want to be careful that you get the right fit initially with the 85Ts once you've secured them in your ear. But ideally, it's probably not the best active uh, true wireless earbud out there. Now, in terms of the audio quality itself, uh, given the fact that we have a, a new uh, larger 12 millimeter driver compared to the 6 millimeter driver on both the 75Ts and uh, the AirPod Pros, you would think that the sound quality would be improved uh, by some extent. But in most cases, besides uh, the volume shift where you can definitely crank uh, the driver a little bit louder and it can get pretty crazy loud at times, so definitely be careful of that. In terms of the overall frequency response and characteristics, of the sound and audio quality coming out of the earbuds. I don't think there hasn't been a major change coming uh, from the 75Ts. You still have a very punchy low end frequency response. The mid range, however, has slightly improved with better overall dynamics and clarity, but the response and dynamics of the upper end frequencies really haven't changed all that much from the 75Ts. And in fact, if you're gonna upgrade from the 75Ts to the 85Ts and you're looking for a major improvement in terms of audio quality and listening experience, you're probably gonna be a little bit disappointed. But in terms of comparing the audio of the AirPod Pros, I think the 85Ts definitely have an edge up in terms of delivering a better punchier lower end frequencies. You now have the mid range to back that up. In terms of the top end response, I think the uh, AirPod Pros have a slight edge up there. But in terms of what most listeners want, which is uh, generally a powerful bass response with good overall clarity and dynamics, nine times out of 10, they're probably going to select the 85Ts over the AirPod Pros pros in my opinion. Lastly, in terms of the battery life, with the ANC on, you're looking at about four and a half hours, according to Apple on the AirPod Pros, versus about five and a half hours on the Elite 85Ts. Now with the ANC off, you're looking at seven hours versus five hours on the 85Ts and AirPod Pros respectively. So the battery life generally is gonna be better on the buds on uh, the Jabra side. And in terms of the charging case, both will get you 24 hours of listening time. Both cases also have wireless and fast charging capabilities and uh, to get about one hours of listening experience on the AirPod Pros with a 20 watt charger, you only need to charge it about five minutes versus about 15 minutes on the Jabra side. 
Lastly, to sum up, if you had to pick one of these true wireless earbuds, it really definitely depends upon your personal needs. If you're an iOS user, you do a lot of phone calls, video conferencing. I still think that the AirPod Pros are almost unbeatable at this point. Although the 85Ts are not too far behind in terms of call quality, uh, they're still not up to that level in terms of getting your voice as isolated from the background as possible. Uh, furthermore, uh, when it comes to the ANC and overall audio quality, I think the Jawbros are uh, definitely have an advantage there. But in terms of what I would personally get, I think the best deal is still the Jawbro Elite 75Ts, just the standard versions, because on Amazon, you can typically find them for around $120, especially these days when they're on sale all the time. Conversely, when we take a look at the, the 85Ts and the AirPod Pros, they're both over $200. Typically, the 85T is around 230 versus you're looking at 200 to 235 on the AirPod Pros. And for uh, almost about $100 less, you can get the 75Ts, and they're pretty much 98% of what the uh, 85Ts are capable of in terms of noise cancellation technology, audio performance, durability, and things like that. And furthermore, you can even get the wireless charging case for the 75Ts, so you can get that feature if that's really important to you. And we'll have uh, more information in the description down below for all these products and everything like that but in the meantime i definitely love to know what you guys think is the best true wireless earbud that's out for 2020 right now please give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already and make sure you're subscribed and have the notification on so you get our videos once they become available thanks again for watching we'll see you real soon in the next one take care